All right, so today I wanted to talk about how to set up Final Burn Alpha. Um, there's two versions of it right now, as it stands, and one is libretro based and one of them is not. So one will utilize your retro arch cores and one will not. Um, one thing I've, I neglected to mention when we were transferring ROMs over, there's one more method using Samba shares. Um, essentially, you can go into your computer if you're on Windows, do backslash backslash, and then just type in your IP address for your for your RetroPie, and uh, once you do that, that will open up into your uh, home folder for what your RetroPie home folder. So that will show you where your ROMs and your BIOS are, and so you can transfer things that way if you don't want to use WinSCP or a USB stick. So uh, we're going to open up into the ROMs folder just to show you what's there for FBA, Final Burn Alpha. So the FBA Libretro, this is the one that utilizes your RetroArch cores, so your RetroArch joy config that we set up earlier, that will uh, work, so you won't have to do any extra configurations if you don't want to for that. Uh, minus one thing, which we'll talk about. Um, and then this other one is FBA, it's based off of Pi FBA, uh, the emulator, which doesn't utilize RetroArch config, so you might have to do some configurations for it, which we'll also talk about. Um, so first thing, if you're putting a ROM on, uh, you need to have a BIOS for most of them. So my BIOS, I put it in this zip file called neogeo.zip, of course, and uh, inside are these files, um, just in case you put your BIOS in and you don't. No, it doesn't work for some reason, this, uh, this is working, so uh, if you're missing some files, maybe this will give you an idea. And of course, I can't provide it because of copyrights and all that, so... Um, but a little bit of Googling, and I'm sure you could find some sources for it. Um, but yeah, the ones I had to add were like the SFIX and uh, NGSFIX, NGLO. Um, there are a couple things I had to add just to make a couple things work. So um, anyways, once you've got a BIOS and your ROMs down, uh, you need to configure the controllers. So if you're using the Pi FBA, so when you put your ROMs into this folder here, FBA, Final Burn Alpha, um, go into the terminal and the configuration files are located at sudo nano we'll just open right into an edit session um, forward slash opt forward slash retro pie forward slash emulators forward slash pi fba forward slash um, fba to x.cfg. Yep, that's right. So this is the configuration file you'll see, and the joystick one that's for your game pads. Um, so you can see I've got player one, uh, button A is zero, B is three. Um, so if you don't like the configurations that are set up already, you can modify them. Uh, I modified it so instead of having X and B be my buttons, I changed it to Y and B just because uh, I like to have my buttons next to each other when I'm playing. So um, I just swapped the 3 and the 1 and it changed it for mine. But it it'll, might be different because you might have a different controller, but that's the general idea. And the select button, that's what's going to put your coins in, so just remember that one. Uh, it's kind of important because if you can't put coins in, then you can't play the game. So. That's, a, that's an important one to do. And if you wanted to add a third player, um, I don't know if there's any four player games, but uh, I know like, kind of like some dinosaurs is like a three, three player game. Um, and then you can add a third, a third column and then instead of A underscore two would be A underscore three and then same configurations if it's the same kind of controller or it could be different if you've got a different controller in there. So uh, that's, that's pretty much all you really need to change for that to make it work. And it might just work out of the box as well so you know whatever works best for your setup so we'll go back out of that into the home folder by pressing Control x um, and you can save it if you made changes um, so to change one issue with the retroarch one uh, kind of a big issue actually is you can't put coins in when you first start if you've got hotkeys enabled because it uses the select key to put coins in but it also uses the select key to enable your hotkey buttons. So it can't choose both. It's one or the other, and it chooses the hotkey button first. So one easy way to do that is to just change RetroArch config for that emulator itself. 
to override uh, the default retroarch configs that you set up um, through the setup script. So in order to do that, you go to, um, I'll take you to the folder first just to show you the file structure and everything. So cd opt forward slash retropy forward slash configs then ls list it. So that shows all the folders with uh, configurations for retroarch particularly. Um, so all is, like we said in one of the last videos, that's where you can configure all of them with retroarch or do run overrides for all of them. Um, but we want to just change something for FBA. So we'll do CD FBA to go into the FBA folder, find out an alpha ls to list it. So you see that the only file in there is retroarch.cfg. That's the one we're going to con uh, modify. So type in sudo nano retroarch can't spell today, dot cfg um, to edit it. So I press enter and I did it wrong, I'm sorry. Um, can't spell apparently. There we go, that's better. Okay, so this is how it should look. Um, I added this line here, input underscore enable underscore hotkey underscore button plus four. So basically what I did is I changed my hotkey here from eight, which was my select key which in, is the same one that will input coins. And I swapped it over to my left bumper, which was the hotkey button for loading. Um, and so this way, uh, I can still use my hotkey, which is my left bumper now, and my start key to exit out of the emulator, while also allowing my select key to input coins. So you might have to modify it differently for your own setup, um, but this way it swaps the hotkey button so it doesn't interfere with the coin button. Um, so I would just make sure it's one that you're not using for the gameplay. Um, otherwise you might accidentally exit out while you're playing or do something that maybe you don't want to do um, because the hotkeys override it. Um, so yeah, I'll just use my left bumper, but do it for whatever works best on your controls. Um, and, and it works fine after that. And you can play, you got your games and you got your coins in and um, it works swimmingly, so um, that's that's really all you got to do for FBA, depending on which emulator you choose. Um, it's pretty simple, um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's all there is to it. So.